What up? My name is Brad. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Legends today. So we're jumping and talking about this raid event, and I'm actually slightly confused, more than I even was. So last night I ran this. Um, I counted. Well, I did the first like 41, I believe, with Nolar. I don't believe I did. I did that with Nolar, and then after that I ran out my so out by myself, and I got up to 156. I did it last night, um, and that's including like three this morning that I did. So I actually just made a portion, and I, I was reading this. And I was saying, okay, there's zero limited time rewards left today. So I assume that means, like, this would be a limited time reward, and this would be a limited time reward. And maybe even a slot removers? I don't know, though. Not 100% sure on that. Um, but then I just got a platinum coin. And I'm kind of like, well, I was definitely running the event after reset last night, because I had to be. So how did I get a platinum coin? So when it says zero limited time rewards left today... Is that the Chrono Crystals? I'm very lost. Well, the one thing I wanted to talk about with this event is because the reason you're going to run it is this, right? That's the reason you're going to run it. I've gotten zero of those. I've gotten three erasers, and I've gotten one platinum coin. But I did get zero of the multi-Z part. That's in 156 runs. That's just about four hours of playing it pretty much straight. Like, I had to put my phone on the charger last night. Uh, and continue playing that way. Like, I have my wireless charger in my hand. Um, to actually be able to do that. I get the idea of it. Like, it's cool. And I'm definitely not complaining about the raid event. Because it seems a lot better. I personally... I'm wondering why we're getting so many gold battles. You know, I know people are like, Yo, level cap's not coming. They wouldn't do that. They're giving us an awful lot of gold bells when I already have a lot of gold bells. Like, I have literally, I think, 48 gold bells. And I have, like, 1,700 silver bells or something ridiculous um i don't know it's just always weird but at the same time we get training items for everything nowadays and it's like when am i gonna use these i'm just gonna run the exp event like i don't know <laughs> i'm not gonna sit here and wait six hours for this to be done so they might just be given at the same time um the one thing that it's kind of like okay a lot of people made videos talking about or like posts on twitter oh unlimited multi z power i wish uh I guess, technically speaking, it is, you know, maybe you get uber lucky. It's got to be like a 0 0.25 or 0.1% chance, like, of getting the multi-Z power. I'd much prefer that you can only get one, but it's a 200 drop, like the one you can buy in the shop. I'd much, much prefer that. And I'm kind of just putting it out there as, like, you know, if they listen to all of our opinions, kind of put it out there for that reason. And I also do want to get your guys' opinion in the comment section as well. Do you care? Because personally, I don't really care that much. It's just an extra thing. I'm doing it for dual coins. I already want to get the multi-Z power from dual coins. And this sounds like ridiculous. You only got to run it a hundred times to get a thousand. Like, it's like, oh, that's it? Oh, that's a hundred times. And it's like, um, I'm doing it just for dual coins pretty much. And for the Zenkai souls. Both of those. I still got to finish up my actual normal adventures. But that's my goal. The erasers are nice. You know, I got three of them. That one probably should have a higher drop rate. I mean, if you give us a, like, a 0 0.5 on Erasers, a 0 0.25 uh, on the Platinum Coins, and a 0 0.1 on the Multi-Z Power, but it's a 200 Multi-Z Power, that'd be dope. I'd be down. But honestly, I kind of like the event. It runs a lot cleaner than normal co-op. So that was one thing I definitely noticed. I was just, So I jumped in last night, and I played with Noir for, like, an hour, something like that. I uh, just ran it over and over and over and over again, right? And then I jumped into normal co-op after that. I'm not playing with you. Sorry, dog. I don't even have a boost. Um, and then I jumped into normal co-op after that, and I was like, has it always been this terrible? <laughs> I mean, literally, though, it was, it was nearly god-awful compared to it. And I don't know if that's just because this is taking priority, or it runs a different way, or because it's easier. Because Trunks goes down really fast, and I don't know if that's what it is. I'm very lost why normal co-op even exists at this point. You know, like, I get the idea of, well, it's still in the game, why not? You know, you get your boosted dual coins. Uh, don't you get boosted dual coins to this one, too? Because I had, like, 600. Come on, please save me. All right, good, thank you. All right, give me money. So I get a little into, like, co-op sometimes. I will admit, this is, like, this actually feels relatively fun. Okay, I have enough key. Can I just use that? Uh, I'm not going to transform out there. I don't even need to. Come on, man. Your transformation takes forever, dog. And I can't even get mine off because he clicked it immediately. He left me out, dog. 
Ooh. He's got the shallot sleeves. You never see those unless somebody either put the massive work in or they're a creator. Well, see, that's exactly it right there. Look how fast that is. And then you jump into your normal co-op, and it's legit like seven minutes. The person might DC. Great say, man, just being annoying. Look at see, okay, so gold and silver bells. I do like this. I really gotta start working on. I really gotta start using some of those. I've gone through like maybe 500 in the last month. But I like getting, I'm fine with the bells. I don't mind that. Uh, the dual coins, I think it's great. You know, everybody I saw on Twitter, people were like, oh, it's trash. I don't like this. It's not trash. Those are usable things. The bells, they seem annoying, but that saves you a butt ton of energy when you get a new unit. So you're not running that damn EXP event like 30 times. You only got to run it 20 times. You only got to run it 10 times. Saves you a lot of energy in that way. Uh, Zenkai Souls. Now, the one thing I will say about Zenkai Souls. Um, do we think that this Trunks has any kind of potential of getting it? So they're giving us blue Zenkai Souls. Future is the hot topic right now. Trunks really needs a Zenkai. He's a blue hybrid, which was just the hot topic. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Hey, I don't. I doubt it. I highly, 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 highly doubt it. That they would give us like a blue future buff, um, because Vegito blue, and I highly doubt they would give us a blue Vegeta family buff because of Majin Vegeta. I highly doubt it. But at the same time, it does. It, why Trunks? We just had a great Saiyan. Man. I know they don't always go like in an order, right? But like, why Trunks though? Because the great Saiyan man makes sense. We got great Saiyan man one and two. I don't know, man. Omega was the raid boss. <laughs> I know, hey. I don't know. All right, PyCon was the raid boss. We'll see what happens. Either way, I think I'm pretty much going to get out of here at this point. Uh, my final thoughts on it, great. There's a couple of tiny things to change, but I have no problem with how it's at right now. Uh, the Times 2 EXP is awesome as well. Uh, I don't think I've used an event to level up a unit <laughs> since like the second week of the game when I was leveling Not even that, the second day of the game when I was leveling up PyCon. I remember sitting there grinding up Super Souls and grinding up PyCon's level at the same time. And it felt terrible. I went through, like, that's back when the channel very first was like, you know, I was like pouring money into the channel to get it moving. And I was just dropping the 50k, the 50cc, the 50cc over and over and over again. Like my maximum I could every single day. Just to get Super Souls to level up PyCon. <laughs> oh man, how it's changed. Let me tell you what. Either way. I'm out. What do you think about the raid event? Do you care? Do not care? Do you think it's super dope? Are you just kind of like, this could be better. I'm just kind of neutral on it. I would like to see co-op kind of go away. Um, oh, we didn't even talk about the exchange job. We can talk about that real quick. I'd like to see normal co-op go away and we just move to a raid. I'd much prefer that. Uh, if it's going to run this clean every time. If it's just going to turn into another co-op, then whatever. We can keep the separate ones. It's nice to get the double boost then. But I just don't like... Normal co-op is the buggiest thing ever and that's not even like a joke it's, it's so buggy uh so these coins will be it says on dbz space these will be distributed after the event on october 7th 2020 so medals defeat the raid boss by 10 5 2020 at 12 a.m yeah we're definitely gonna do that so will you get 20 medals um that's actually really good <laughs> it's actually really good so if you go on dbz space 20 medals defeated by 10 10. 15 medals, raid boss defeated. I get. How do you not beat it by that date? And then we get 5 if the raid boss is not defeated. Uh, well, we're definitely going to get our 20 medals. So, what can you use it on that's massive? Zenkai souls are great. Super souls are actually probably where you want to aim for. Yep, one gold bell. <laughs> that's definitely what you want. <laughs> now, you get your crown crystals. I will actually probably scoop up a bunch of... Do I want Zenkai Souls or do I want... Because I have a lot of Zenkai Souls. Because I haven't been Zenkai 7 units. Like, I have a lot of Zenkai Souls. Super Souls are a good idea. But I would actually recommend not doing that. Because, like, you can get 30 Super Souls. Like, if you just go up into the most recent, like, exchange here. You just go down here and get Super Souls. You can do 30 of them just for 4,500... Uh, Corn dogs. <laughs> I don't know. Is it actually corn dogs? <laughs> Sausage. Okay. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't really recommend using your dual coins on that or your uh, extreme 
Oh, is that extreme dual coin? Yeah, don't use your extreme clash medals. Isn't clash medal from Dokkan? Either way, I'm out. I said I was going to do this video like two minutes ago. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, definitely pick up those 1,000 CC whenever we do get that, which we will definitely. He's uh, he's already almost dead. He'll be dead by like three hours after this video goes up, for sure. Eh, five hours after this video goes up. I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what kind of topics you guys want me to talk about as well, because I like these kind of videos. But I'm going to be more on point with bringing you guys the news as it hits. Because like, I, I keep up with it just as well as everybody else. I'm going to tell you, half the time I'm in a call with like Goresh, and he's like, Oh, I got an idea. And it's like, no, I can't make that damn video. So... I also have to stop being in a call with him, <laughs> and then we can actually do this, but I'm out. Catch you around. Deuces.